So the yarn I'm using is a four ply by Zakami Yarns and it is a natural fibre made of baby alpaca, linen and silk. And I'm using a three millimetre hook. Of course you could use any thickness of yarn and corresponding hook size. So I'm going to start with a slip knot loop on my hook and then I'm going to chain 24. And working into the back loop of the chains, I'm going to skip the first three chains and I'm going to put one double, which is a UK treble, into the fourth chain from the hook. Now I'm going to continue and put one double or one UK treble in each of the remaining chains. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you um, as I'm coming up to the end of the chain. I've got two chains left. So now I'll reach the end of row one. So at the end of this row you should have 22 stitches of which 21 are doubles or UK trebles and then the last stitch, if you're counting from the left, but obviously it's the first stitch you made really, is um, part of that skipped starting chain. So we we'll just do a quick check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, and then this skipped chain three is our 22nd stitch so we're we've got the correct stitch count there now we're ready to do row two so this row is going to be um, the main feature of the stitch which is the sort of half flower element of the pattern so we're going to start off with a chain one and then we're going to turn the work round to the wrong side. And this chain one is never counted as a stitch uh, nor do we ever work into it. Additionally, we are not going to be skipping any stitches at the start of the row. So remember you're working into the back of the stitches so you may need to tilt the work towards you slightly so that you can clearly see these front and back loops of the stitches from the previous row. Next we're going to do six extended single crochets which in UK terminology are extended double crochets. So to do that we're going to go into the stitch through both loops front and back the previous round. Remember we're not skipping any stitches. We're going to pull up a loop then we're going to yarn over and draw through. So basically we're doing chain one there then I'm going to yarn over and draw off all two stitches, all two loops on the hook. So that is an extended double crochet in UK terminology and extended single crochet in US terminology. So I'll do that again. Tilt the work so that I can clearly see front loop, back loop of the stitches from the previous row. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to chain one. So I'm not going through that first loop on my hook. Yarn over, draw off two. Extended single crochet number two, done. Let's do a third one. Pull up a loop, chain one, yarn over, draw off two. That's three. Look at this lovely natural fibre with these. That must be the linen. Pull up a loop, chain one, yarn over, draw off two. So I've done one, two, three, four. Onto the fifth one. And onto the sixth one. Six extended single crochets or extended uh, UK double crochets. 
Next we're going to do the half flower element of the stitch. So to do this you need to first of all skip two stitches and then into the third stitch you're going to double crochet two together which in UK terminology is treble crochet three together. So I've done my yarn over, I've skipped two stitches, I've gone into the third stitch. Pulling up a loop, I've got three, yarn over, draw off two. I'm not going to finish off that double crochet or UK treble yet, I'm going to make another one. Yarn over into that exact same spot, pull up a loop, now I've got four on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and draw off the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and draw off all three loops on my hook. So there I've made a double crochet two together, which is a UK treble, uh, treble crochet two together. Next I'm going to chain one. And then in exactly the same stitch I'm going to make another double crochet two together or UK treble crochet two together. Yarn over into that exact same stitch, pull up a loop, I've got three. Yarn over, draw off two. I'm going to make another stitch, yarn over, back into that exact same spot, pull up a loop, now I've got four, yarn over, draw off two. Now I'm going to finish off both those stitches in one go, yarn over, draw off all three loops on hook, chain one. Now I'm going to make the final, the third and final petal, yarn over, into that exact same stitch, pull up a loop got three, yarn over, draw off two, yarn over, into that exact same stitch, pull up a loop, I've got four, yarn over, draw off two, I've got three, yarn over, draw off all three. So here you can see we've made this kind of like a half flower, three petaled uh, stitch pattern. Next we're going to skip two stitches and then we're going to do five extended single crochets or in UK terminology that is an extended double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip two stitches and now I'm going to make another uh, flower element which if you remember is three um, double crochets or UK treble crochets together with a chain one dividing them. So we've got to skip two stitches first of all and then into the third stitch we're going to do a double crochet two together, UK treble two together chain one, another double crochet two together, UK treble two together in the same stitch, chain one, and another double crochet two together, UK treble two together in the same stitch. Then we're going to skip two and in the last stitch which is actually part of the starting chain, we've got a chain three from the starting chain represented as a double crochet or UK treble. We're going to skip two stitches and in that last stitch which is a chain, make sure you treat the chain like a normal stitch so you're going front loop back loop, you're going to put an extended single crochet or an extended double crochet in UK terminology in that last stitch. So the end of that first uh, second row you should have two little half flower three petaled elements, six um, uh, extended single crochets or UK extended doubles, then five and then finishing with one. So this is what it looks like at the end of row two. Row three. This is a nice easy row, we're just doing double crochets or UK trebles into every stitch and by every stitch that includes uh, chain one spaces. So we're always going to start these double crochet or UK treble rounds with a chain two but that is never counted as a stitch and nor do we ever work into it. 
we chain two, we turn the work and we don't skip any stitches. So we're going to be working straight into that very first or very last extended single crochet we made from the previous row. So just be careful not to skip that or your stitch count will be off. So remember to tilt the work towards you so you can see what's going on. This is quite a rustic yarn so it's going to take me a while to get my eye in on there. And I'm going to put a double crochet or UK treble into that first extended single crochet. Next, the next stitch is one of my double crochets or UK trebles two together. That always looks like quite a long stitch in regards to the other stitches. It always looks a bit looser, so I'm going into that one. Next, I'm going into the chain one space between the petals with a double or UK treble. Next, I'm going into the next um, petal, top of the petal. Next, I'm going into the chain one space. And then I'm going into the top of the third petal. And then the next bit is pretty straightforward because I've just got five extended double crochets to go into. Or in US terminology, that's five extended single crochets. So I've got one, two, three, five. Next up, one treble into the top of the first petal, one treble into the chain one space, that's one UK treble, a UK treble or US double crochet into the top of the next petal, double crochet UK treble into the chain one space, double crochet, UK treble into the third petal. So each each one of these little flower petal elements, you, it, there's always five stitches. So one stitch in the top of the petal, one stitch between, one stitch in the top of the next petal, one stitch between, one stitch in the top of the last petal. That's five stitches. And the pattern repeat then also has five stitches into the extended single crochets or UK extended double crochets so it's a good thing to remember if you're as you're making um, if you're making something with this such as a blanket or a garment is you've got that sequence of five into the plain stitches five into the petal um, apart from this swatch the end this one end has got six extended um, double crochets so six double crochets or six UK trebles that we need to work into this last section. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and one into this last one here. It's a bit splitty this yarn, but very nice. Okay. So at the end of row two, uh, three even, at the end of row three, we should have 22 uh, double crochets or UK trebles. Now on to row four. We're going to chain one, turn the work. Don't skip any stitches, put one extended single crochet or extended UK double into the first stitch. And now we're going to do a another half flower. So this is a alternating, um, the petals are stacked in an alternating sequence. So row two, they're here, and then row three, we've got the, the petal, the flower element is falling in between those from row two. So we're going to skip two, and we're going to do three petals. Each petal is a double crochet two together, or UK treble two together, chain one and another petal, double crochet two together, UK treble two together, chain one, double crochet two together, UK treble two together, skip two, and five extended single crochets, or five UK 
uh, extended double crochet. So remember, we're working through both loops of the stitches from the previous row, so make sure you tilt the work forward to, so you can clearly see what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five. Now time for another uh, half flower. One, two, into the third, double crochet two together, UK treble crochet two together. Chain one, back into that same stitch, double crochet two together, UK treble crochet two together. Chain one, same stitch, double crochet two together, UK treble two together. Skip two. And now we are going to do six extended single crochets, which are six UK doubles. Double check that is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So there you see, we've put the second batch of petals stacked up between the ones from the other um, wrong side row. So with this pattern, obviously you can have it whichever way around you prefer, but specifically for the, the pattern I've written, um, the plain double crochet or UK treble row is the right side and the back of the flowers is the right side or the right side of the flowers is the wrong side whichever way you want to see it so now we're ready for row five which again is another nice easy um, double crochet UK treble row we're going to chain two we're going to turn the work round we're not skipping any stitches. We are putting one double or one UK treble into each of the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in the top of the first petal, one in the space of the petal, one in the top of the second petal, one in the space between those petals, and one in the third petal. So put five stitches in total into uh, that flower element of the stitch pattern. Next up we've got five extended single crochets or UK doubles and we're going to work one double crochet or UK treble into each one of those. And then five into the next flower. So one in the first petal, one between the next petal, one in the second petal, one between the next set of petals, one in the last petal. And then we've got one stitch left, which is, which is an extended single crochet from the previous row, or UK extended double, and we're going to put one treble, UK treble or US double, into that last stitch. And this is what it looks like at the end of row five. So to do my swatch, I need to do a few more rows of this to give me the most accurate idea of whether uh, my gauge is correct. So I'm going to repeat um, row two, row three, and row four, and probably row five. I'm just going to keep repeating those until I have um, a the right size, i.e. I need this to be square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will uh, see you back once I've finished. So here we are, my swatch is finished and I'm ready to wash and block it. <laughs> 